Guys, today has finally arrived. I'm gonna give you a quick look at the new Samsung S22 Ultra and how you can use it to improve your productivity for daily planning, for note taking, and I might even give you a few good suggestions how you can go back to your wife, your girlfriend, and say, hey, this was a good investment. So today we're gonna to cover all of that, so stay with me. Well, I'm Brandon Bonifer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planning System. And today, guys, we're gonna be unlocking the power of note-taking and digital planning with the new Samsung S22 Ultra. For the last number of years, I've been using a handful of different note-taking applications. And today, we're gonna to talk about OneNote, NoteShelf, and Samsung Notes. These are all note-taking apps that you can use on your Samsung Android device. You can use it across this device, you can use it across the Fold, you can use it, use it across various tablets by Samsung, and across all those different devices, you will be able to sync your notes. Let's talk about these individual note-taking apps and why you would want to use one over another. First off, OneNote. OneNote is a powerful application that allows you to sync your notes across pretty much every single platform and it allows you to take notes and have those sync from your Windows computer to your iPhone, if you choose to have an iPhone, Samsung tablet, Samsung Note, Samsung S22, or even like Surface computers and even Apple computers. OneNote is a very universal app and even has an online a way to browse your notes and take additional notes online. So pretty much wherever you go, you have the opportunity to have your notes with you. What's also nice about OneNote is a free application and you can get a personal account that is free. So really the entire housing of your note taking is free for a long period of time. And you're able then as you archive and move from one year to the next to have those notes with you. However, one setback on this particular device is when it comes to the Android system, OneNote is just not updated like I think it should be. Uh, Microsoft has put a lot of energy into different operating systems and different platforms and the Android OneNote version has just kind of lagged in those updates. Now I will say, I generally use my phone as a means of reading my notes, quit taking quick notes, uh, writing things down, jotting out ideas, highlighting, erasing, checking off boxes, and you're very much able to accomplish those things on the Samsung device. So it makes OneNote a really good application for on-the-go note-taking. So now when we get into the application yourself, you'll see right here that we have the ability to go ahead and jump into a month. We can then go ahead and jump into a day and you can see right here that I have all my plans, my notes already laid out for today. Now I can grab my stylus, my S Pen out of here. I can go ahead and if there's something I completed, let's just say I'm working on this video, I'm gonna say that's done. Oh, we highlighted it. Well, we can go ahead and check that box and mark it as done. Now I can also go ahead and I can erase that and I can also go into my notes, and let's just say, for example, the B-roll video that we had to do for this, uh, that was something that we wanted to do this morning. We can highlight that note, but maybe we didn't get that done in time. I can go ahead, and if I really want to, I can lasso that note and say I can move it down to here uh, after my kids went to school, just because they maybe were a little loud uh, and a little distraction while I was doing that filming process. So one note's really cool for that. You can definitely go ahead and jump easily throughout the planning system. Even if you want to drop in a note and type in there, uh, type notes are something a lot of people like to do, especially if your handwriting is not the best. And you can do that right inside the application. And again, this is gonna sync across all those different apps and all those different devices. So the next one I wanna show you guys is NoteShelf. Now NoteShelf is a PDF annotation app. And what makes PDF annotation apps so interesting is they allow you to do some pretty awesome things, especially with hyperlinks. You can see right here in the video that I can click on the key tab and in our planning system, that is an indexing area where you can jump to see where your notes are. You can see all areas of the planner. Then I can go ahead and jump into February. And this brings me to February. And then I can even pick on today's date. And this brings me to today. Now this gives me the option when I'm in this PDF annotation app, Note Shelf, now I have the ability to jump around throughout the month, out the year. And I can even do that. You can see right here, I can jump in. If I wanna jump into tomorrow, I can do that. And now when we look at the planner, uh, being able to pinch and zoom, I'm able to see my notes. I'm able to write. I'm able to go ahead and highlight. 
probably a little bigger than I would have liked. So we can just go ahead and erase that. You can resize right there. And there I can go ahead and make that a little smaller, make that a little bigger. I can even mark up my favorites. So say if I want this one to be my favorite, now it's my favorites tab so I can easily get to it. And let's just say I want to work out today at that time, I can do that. And just like in OneNote, um, I have the ability to make annotations and then this will go ahead and sync across other devices. Now that's a look at Note Shelf on the Samsung S22. When I look at Note Shelf as a PDF annotation app, again, this is one application that I saw a lot of improvements across other platforms and it seems the improvements on the Android side of things is definitely lagging, but it is a really good tool for you to take notes and allows you to have multiple books in it, multiple pages, and you can really do a lot with it in that respect. But the one that really has caught my interest over the last couple years is Samsung Notes. Now, generally speaking, when I think of like Apple Notes, I think it's just a, it's a disaster when it comes to note taking. One thing that Jobs did, uh, he said we never need a stylus. And I think that's put Apple in the back seat for a couple years, especially when it's come to note taking. But with Android and with the Samsung S22, we now have Samsung Notes that allows us to do so much with it. We have all the same functionalities that you would with Note Shelf when it comes to being able to navigate throughout the system. I can go ahead, I can go to a particular month, I can jump to that month, I can go ahead and slide individual pages if I choose to. I can get back to that key page where I can find, I can even use these hyperlinks right here to jump into a note section. If I wanna go ahead and write notes, I can do all that, uh, but I wanna show you some of the things that you can do inside the month that I think are just pretty awesome when it comes to note taking. Now, I will tell you, uh, there is some awesome functionality and collaboration that takes place with the new Samsung Tab 8. If you guys are interested in what you're seeing here, by all means, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. We are going to unpack this new device as well as all the new devices coming out for digital note taking throughout the year and we're giving you a lot of tips and tricks. So go ahead, subscribe, hit the like button again if you saw something you liked. But right here, we see a collaboration effort between the Samsung Tab 8 Ultra and this phone. And what is absolutely amazing that I can use my phone to change my highlighter, change my typing, and just jump back and forth right into my tablet and take notes. I think this is so powerful and so cool. And to see this collaboration between devices is something I'm really excited for. And if you guys wanna check out this video, we are gonna post more information about that tablet in the near future, so stay tuned. But jumping back into Samsung uh, Notes, we have all that same functionality. I can go up here, I can go ahead and I can choose a pen, I can choose a highlighter, I can even go ahead and race, and I can go ahead and lasso. So let's say early dismissal today, kids are getting moved up to 12 o'clock, I can do that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I highlight that. I can go ahead and I can choose different size highlighters, markers, I can change the opacity and thickness. So then that way, if I want it to be a little darker, a little bigger, I can do that. We'll make it a little bigger. We're gonna change it to yellow. We're gonna even mark it as a favorite. I can come back here now and I can highlight that. And that sound is so satisfying. Now, let's just say, for example, because of that, uh, I was no longer gonna have dinner at my rents. I can go ahead and I can go ahead and erase that pretty easily. Now, when I tap on these, I have the ability to erase just the whole stroke or the area. So if we hit the undo button, I'll show you the difference there. Hit the undo button, click here, erase area. We're gonna make the pixel size there. And now if you see, it's just erasing the area around the eraser tool. So that way, if you wanna quickly change the time on something, you can do that. We're gonna spend a little less time with my parents today. And if I do erase stroke here, it can erase the highlighter underneath the text, but not actually erase the text. And I'll come back here, and we're going to just re-expand that out. So we're gonna meet with them a little bit less today. There's also a lot of other cool functionalities where I can insert images, have my camera scan, insert additional PDFs, take voice, and uh, recordings, which is really powerful if you're in a meeting and you want to be able to use the meeting notes or be able to use the notes uh, later and take additional notations, the voice recording is going to be able to do that. And you can also go ahead and text, uh, you can also create a text box in here and be able to use that to 
uh, go ahead and uh, type in the planner, which I think is always a benefit for those especially that don't have the ability to handwrite uh, when they're on, a go, on the go. Because this application syncs with other devices, we can type in an area. And then we can be able to go resize that if we choose to and bring that size down so it fits more in the lines. We can select that. A lot of cool stuff you can do with this. Uh, you can even change the color and stuff. And we can even write to type. That to me is huge. So I can create a text box and now I can go ahead and write my notes. And I'll go ahead and convert them right in the text in the Samsung Note. So I think this application on Samsung is pretty powerful. There's so many other features and at some point we'll do a deep dive video just into Samsung Notes, trust me on that. But when it comes to digital note taking with this device, what is probably my preference? Well, I think the best answer is what is your other devices? If you're only using this device and other Samsung devices, Samsung Notes is gonna be great for you. It's got a lot of power and it can sync across those devices. But if you want to have your notes sync with Windows machines, Apple devices, then OneNote really probably is still the best experience for you. But let's talk a little bit about productivity and how this device can really step up its game when it comes to note taking. So we're gonna jump into productivity and one of the things that I think makes this device and any tablet a powerhouse when it comes to productivity is being able to stack different applications and do side by side uh, note taking. So we can go ahead we can go into here, we're gonna pick this application, Samsung Notes, and we're gonna put open in split screen view. Now we're gonna come in and I am going to choose to open my Gmail account. And then I'm going to choose to have these particular pieces show as such. From in here, I can go ahead and make the screen a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, whatever makes the most sense. But what I want to be able to talk about is why I would have my email in here. I can also type in here and I can create a group. This here to me is really powerful because this allows me at any given time, if I'm in the home screen and I want to open up my email in Samsung Notes, I can do so. I can jump into my planner. And as my planner loads here, I can go ahead and I want to get right to a note page. So we're going to do that. And from here, we're going to go into budget meeting. And what I'm able to do now is, let's just say I have an email up here and we're talking in that email about this case, the budget, and I have some notes I wanna take. I can come into here, I can start going ahead, reading through that email, I can go through and read through it, and I can go ahead and write more notes. That's huge. But let's just say we wanna take it to another step. Let's just say we wanna browse the internet. So we're browsing the internet, we, we, we stumble across something that we really, want, we really like, so we'll go in here and we're gonna type in best digital planner. And um, uh, there happens to be some by uh, Paperlike. So let's just say we're in here looking at Paperlike, which is a screen cover company. And now I wanna go ahead and I wanna be able to take some notes on that. So I'm gonna come in here. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing, split screen. I'm gonna choose my Samsung Note application. And now I have the ability to go ahead and browse this website and take notes other areas in my life that I find this really productive is a lot of times when I'm in church, uh, I'm journaling, uh, I'm listening to the message, and I find myself uh, that I want to be able to take notes about what it is I'm talking about. So we can again, go ahead, open that up, split screen, and go ahead and choose Samsung Notes. And now I have the ability to read scripture and take notes on that scripture as I'm moving through it. So when it comes to side-by-side -side note taking on this device, I think that is one of the best tools that's out there, having two different apps. The screen space on here is quite nice. You can adjust your font size if you choose to a little bit to give you a little bit more real estate when it comes to the amount of text that's on the page. Those are all things you can do. Being able to, uh, being able to adjust that screen space is one area that's really gonna give you a lot of productivity. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll have one area larger and then when I go to jump to take my note, I'll make my note section larger so I have more space for note taking. And that is able to allow me to bounce back and forth between the two applications. One thing I touched on a moment ago, and I touched on it very briefly, was the ability for you to create groups. If I tap here, you'll see there's a little plus sign that says add, if I tap on there, you'll see it says add paired app to edge panel. By tapping on that, it puts the app over here. So if I go back to my home screen, Yes, it is one degrees where I live right now. I know, it is that cold. 
for anybody that is above zero, bless your soul. But if you go ahead and pull your finger off the edge screen, you'll see that I added that group right here. Previously, we added Gmail with my Samsung notes. So I pop this open, I can go ahead and take notes in church pretty quick, and I'm sure I'll get a lot of funny faces while I'm looking at my phone, while the pastor's preaching, but I am definitely invested in what he has to say. So over the last couple years, we've seen some huge improvements in this S Pen. Now, I've always been a fan of the Note. I probably started using the Note uh, probably four or five years ago. And over the last couple years, I've definitely seen the S Pen get more of a handwriting experience. Uh, the response time is a lot better. And now being able to have an update uh, to the Samsung lineup uh, with having that device in here has been pretty exciting to see over the last a couple days that I use this device. But one thing that really probably has me still kind of in the I don't really know and probably a question that you have is what do I think of this device and this device? Last year we were introduced to the Samsung Z Fold 3 and one of the biggest things that came out of this device was the ability to take handwritten notes with the stylus on the foldable screen. And instantly I thought to myself, this is power. I mean, this is like a mini iPad in my hands that I can go ahead and I can take notes. Now, when I look at these two devices side by side, I, I don't know what to tell you just yet. I haven't used the devices long enough to be able to give you my real honest opinion, but I will say my first impression is when it comes to the Samsung, S22, this is something that's gonna easily fit in my pocket. I'm gonna be easily able to pull it out of my pocket, type in notes, write in notes, and the pen is right there, and I don't have to have any extra case or any, any extra bulk. With the Samsung Fold, that initial screen, I can't write on. I can open up my planner and type, yes. It's definitely thinner. It doesn't have the same uh, real estate space as the Samsung S22 Ultra. But when I open it up, now I have a bigger screen space and I can definitely go ahead and write notes. I don't know the answer yet, but I would say at the end of the day, if you're gonna be in a position where you're gonna be doing more with notes, the screen space here might be larger. If you're gonna find yourself using the Samsung device as a means of being able to check off boxes, uh, be able to quick, take quick notes or jot down ideas and have an everyday phone on your carry, this S22 Ultra is absolutely amazing because there's so many other features like the camera and stuff that the Fold just doesn't have. So I don't know what will be my daily driver just yet. I'm sure in an upcoming video I will show you that, but my first impressions, both of these devices are built for digital planning and note taking. And guys, if you wanna learn more about our planning system, it is built for individuals, professionals. If you are looking to expand your career or grow your organization, we have tons of tools. We didn't even start to even talk about what's there. And if you guys wanna learn more, go ahead, check the link in the description and learn more about our planning system. It's available for you, it's available for everyone, so share it with a friend. I'm Brandon Boner for creator and founder of the Key Success Planning System. If you got one tip, one idea, go ahead, share it with a friend, share it with your neighbor. If you like these types of videos, go ahead, subscribe to our channel. There's going to be a lot of them coming out as we continue to unpack this device. And as I mentioned, we are going to talk about this device here in the very near future. And there is a couple things about it that just blew my mind away. I'm sure they will yours too. Until we see each other in that video, God bless each and every one of you, and I'll see you guys real soon.